Hi guys. Alright, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful. It is a Friday night with that gorgeous moon on the rise over the mountaintop. Here on Friday, September 20th, 2024. And uh, so I'm, I'm starting something new on Humpty Dumpty Trail. We need to breathe some new life into this channel, obviously. Uh, so I, I, I'm still trying to figure out what it's going to look like, but essentially what I'm going to be doing here, I don't know if this experiment's going to last a week or 10 years. This is chapter two, where we started last night. So what I'm doing is, you know how that little eco pussy at that other channel is chronicling the collapse of a planet, the collapse of a civilization in a, in a planet. What I want to do on here is uh, chronicle the collapse of a single human being, uh, which would be yours truly, him and Little Tales. So, uh, one thing that I that, that I'm trying to so it, what I started doing last night uh, you know for the past what is it 22 years I have uh, been drinking two pretty stiff drinks and so I just measured this out so what I'm doing now as I say for, I don't know how long this is going to last, I am upping my alcohol content. I'm increasing my alcohol consumption by 50%. So uh, I just measured this out in the, in, in the, uh, in, in the measuring cup. So what I'm going to be doing uh, for a while is uh, is drinking four ounces of tequila and two ounces of triple sec seven nights a week. And when I am two-thirds to three-fourths of the way into that, I'm going to turn on this camera and sit here and talk to myself until I figure out that the camera battery has shut down and I really am talking to myself. So uh, I, I, th th this is just, what do they call it, a vlog and calls I, I, I just want to figure out, and, and I want to go back and be able to play these videos and, you, you know, chronicling my descent into the ninth ring of hell, which I'm glad to say is, is happening even faster than previously thought. I, I, I thought that my my tumble into the ninth ring of hell was going to begin tomorrow night. Uh, which, of course, uh, tomorrow night, uh, what will that be, September 21st, 2024, not only is it the last day of the summer of 2024, but it will be my very last night as a middle-aged man. Uh, and, thank, and, and unbelievably, it's a Saturday night. 
so uh, my very last night on a Saturday night, I will be sitting here alone with my thumb up my ass, sitting in a a converted old tool shed behind the shack behind a shack on the side of the road and just trying to figure out how I got here how did I go from uh, the life I was leading uh, as recently as as 16 years ago now, how I went from there to here. And uh, so I thought it was going to begin uh, tomorrow night, and then of course Sunday, you know, <coughs> When, when I officially become officially become a uh, a decrepit old fart at age 65 and I I, I basically you know officially kick off my golden years. Starting in what about I'm about 40 hours away from my golden year, so I'm trying to figure out How I want to spend the rest of my life alone Do I would do I want to spend the rest of my life sitting in a seven foot seven foot converted tool shed with rodents gnawing on the walls the rest of my life uh, do I want just to go do I do I, do I, do I want to double my alcohol content again do I just essentially want to drink myself to death uh, I, I have nothing but options available to me. Uh, do, do I want to drink myself to death? Do I uh, do, do I finally go out there and, and, and find some fucking fentanyl once and for all and forever? Uh, so I'm kind of stabbing around. So what I have been doing today, what I have dedicated my day to day to doing is to uh, you know I'm thinking of ways to self destruct so it's been a pretty good first day so what I've been doing today is I shut down my vacation rental business today so Nobody can make any more reservations here between now and November 1st. And in addition to that, shutting that down, uh, shutting down my vacation business, is I still have 12 sets of clueless fucking morons. So what I've been doing is trying to get the people uh, who have booked places here to uh, cancel their reservations. I did pretty good. I've gotten three of them. So uh, I am supposed to have a full house tonight and tomorrow night. This should be, what I should be making is $270 tonight and tomorrow night. So this should be a $540 weekend. So I've managed to run two out of three. Uh, the people in Blue Dragon, I could not get rid of them. So instead of making uh, $540 this weekend, 
I will still be making $212, but I've managed to, you know, to uh, piss over $300 down the toilet. What I'm trying to do is, if, if, if I can get everybody to, what, what it is, uh, it, it's, a, it, it's a little bit over $3,000. So uh, that that I have in the pipeline, uh, so I so I've, I've there is no chance that anybody else can give me any other money. So what I am trying to do is is flush over three thousand dollars down the fucking toilet. That's already in the pipeline. I am doing everything I can to shut this fucking business down. And so once I managed to do that, my income is going to be $900 a month. That's what I make on Social Security. Uh, I, I, I will... Uh, be living off of nine hundred dollars per month in the year 2024, and uh, spending probably two to three hundred dollars of that on alcohol. So that's part of what I'm chronicling. So. What I'm doing is essentially thinking of self-destructive behaviors, uh, and uh, is does the does the alcohol feed the self-destructive behaviors, or does the self-destructive behaviors feed the alcohol? I'm assuming they feed each other. So what I'm basically doing is chronicling myself going into a suicidal uh, black hole. And, and, and uh, when you set your sights on, on, you know, on the chronicling yourself going into a suicidal black hole, it, it's amazing how easy it is to do. I am. I am. I, I, uh, I, I just started. Well, it, but it started with that fucking cunt. What night was that? Was that Wednesday or Thursday night where that where, where that fucking cunt uh, just really brought home to me how fucked I am, and, and and really made me sit down and take stock of my life. And, uh, I mean, she was the nastiest fucking cunt that I have met since that fucking bitch down there in Florida, you know, blew her fucking brains out and did me and made me all that money. And, uh, and, 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 and she just shook something loose inside of me. She just triggered something. So between, between that fucking cunt and, and and this this rodent invasion going on here, uh, I am rapidly uh, descending into the deepest darkest depression that I have been in. I I'm trying to remember the last time I was uh, as depressed as I am right now. I have every intention of being a hell of a lot more depressed tomorrow than I am tonight, and, and, and then a hell of a lot more depressed on Sunday. Then, so the, the interesting thing is going to be, do I bottom out on Sunday, or do I, do I just keep going down farther? And, uh, you, you know, I, I've... I've you know, I'm I, I'm shutting down my biz. Oh, I'm shutting down my business. I am uh, pissing 
uh, thousands of dollars down the toilet. Uh, I am already starting to, uh, to, you know, with the few friends that I have, I'm starting to, uh, you know, uh, not return phone calls. Uh, maybe people I have plans with for the future. I'm beginning to weasel out of any, you know what I'm saying, any contact uh, with, with, you know, just the usual things that uh, suicidally depressed people do. I'm, I'm starting to cut ties with the people I love, you, you know, sabotaging myself with my business, with my friends, just, uh, 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 of course, upping the uh, alcohol content by 50%. And, uh, but, uh, anyway, that, that's just what, what, what I'm doing with, with this new phase of Humpty Dumpty Tribe is, is I want to put on a video record someone going to fucking hell. Uh, just, I, I'm going to sit here and fucking crack up in front of this fucking camera and record it for anybody who wants to witness what it looks like for someone to voluntarily, with purpose, sabotage themselves and... Uh, and just send themselves into a into an absolute fucking black hole. So, I hope you guys enjoy the ride down. Uh, who, who will enjoy this? I know Gloria Nanati. Uh, she's probably Gloria. You're probably coming in your panties. Watching, uh, watch, watching Hambone just self-destruct uh, in, in, in front of you. And uh, so I'm glad I uh, made you, uh, made your panties wet, Gloria. Uh, who else is going to enjoy, uh, Anyway, I hope you all get something out of this. But the first thing I want to talk about, as long as this uh, this uh, it looks like the battery is still running, it is just the unbelievable will to survive. And don't worry, I'm not going to mention anybody's names here. But several of the people listening to this rant right now, they live in what I call, or Woody Allen calls, the truly horrible. You know, Woody says the challenge in life is just to stay in the basically miserable side of life and don't go over the line to the truly horrible. But I, uh, I, I, I know several people, as I say, including people listening to this rant, who I would include in the truly horrible. Okay? The, the absolute truly horrible that every day of their lives, they get up and face a horror, be it mostly a physical, but, but not all, but either a physical horror, a mental, emotional, a spiritual horror, worse than anything I can imagine. 
and they they, they not only seem to be able to do this. I, 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 I try to imagine putting myself in uh, the shoes of these, and, 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 I'm, and I'm talking real life friends of mine, uh, real life friends of mine. Uh, I, 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 I try to imagine me waking up tomorrow and being them. And what that must feel like. I, 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 I have no idea how these people, and, uh, and, 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 and you know who you are. I mean, you're listening to me. Uh, and, and, and I would say this, and, and I've pretty much said this to your face. I, I mean, I'm not talking behind your back. Uh, I don't know how the fuck you do it. If I thought I was going to wake up tomorrow and face what it is you're facing in your life, I would find a way to kill myself. I have no idea why you have not killed yourself yet. Uh, the, 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 this, this, this will to keep going, and it, and it, and it goes beyond that. That, uh, that, 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 it, I, I mean, how many conversations and emails in, in, in the past week, I have heard from at least three people. I have, I have been in conversation literally on the telephone or by email with, 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 with these people who I, I, I have no clue why they want to keep living. Uh, and, 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 and yet, what they're, they're talking about, uh, and, and I don't mind saying it, there, there, was, there, was, there was this one friend of mine talking about getting a second brain surgery. A second brain surgery so they could keep up this, uh, this, this, this truly horrible existence. And I am absolutely flabbergasted why someone facing, who, who lives like this, what is it, what is it, dude, uh, about your fucking life that makes you, why did you get the first brain surgery? Much less the second one. I, I, I have two friends. I have two friends, uh, both of them uh, listening to this right now, talking about going down to fucking Mexico and, and getting all of this weird snake oil, experimental medical shit uh, done to them. So they can live another fucking day, uh, another fucking year. I, I've got another friend who is not listening to this. She tells me she is drinking her own piss every day. Drinking her own piss every day. The woman's in her fucking 80s. And she thinks that drinking her own piss is going to do what? Uh, you know, uh, make you live till you're a fucking hundred? 
you, you, you know, the, the day you fucking wake up in the morning and start drinking your own piss. I mean, she told me this. And, and, and uh, like, like she was suggesting I was going to get up and start drinking my own piss. And I'm thinking, my God, am I here all alone. And all, and, 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 and like half the people I know, uh, you know, have cancer. Uh, you know, they, they, they've been given three or four fucking years to live. Uh, they're, they're going out there and getting fucking chemo and radiation and surgery and, and, and all of this. And, 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 you know, the fucking universe. And, and, and I love these people. I, I love you guys. Uh... And, and uh, I mean, I don't want you dead uh, on, on, on one level. I mean, I'm going to miss you when you're gone. But at the same time, what the fuck are you doing? Explain it to me. So, I, I do have one ray of hope in the middle of all this. Uh, what I discovered two days ago... And I don't uh, don't need to tell you how I discovered this on my left nut, on my left testicle. I notice that there's something, some sort of uh, growth, some sort of little rock hard. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the size of a like a little green pea or a blueberry. This little uh, rock hard uh, thing on my left nut, and, and I'm thinking, please God, let it be cancer. Let it be fucking cancer, and, and uh, I and let it. You know the the irony. Uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of of dying by testicular cancer uh, when I haven't used my testicles in uh, is it eight or nine years since I've even used my testicles and, and with full knowledge that I'm never going to use my testicles again till the day I die they are just hanging there uselessly. And are they going to be what takes me out? Uh, you know, my mother died of ovarian cancer. So, you, you know, there's some hope. Uh, is there any link? If you're, if you're a male child of a woman who died of ovarian cancer... Uh, do you have a higher chance uh, of dying of testicular cancer? So I am crossing my fingers, saying, while well, 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 all of these friends of mine uh, who, should, uh, who are dying should be dead of cancer, are going through all of this fucking hell uh, half the people I fucking know are, are, uh, are, are, are have some stage of cancer. And all I want to do is go to bed tonight and not wake up. All I fucking want to do is die. Uh, my, my number one wish is just to fucking roll over and die. And, and that's the, my, my, my number one goal uh, is to get the fuck out of here the sooner the better. And and then I look at all of my personal friends where the universe is basically saying, okay, you know, the, the grim reaper is starting to tap them on the shoulder and, and say, come on with me. And, 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 and where's the fucking Grim Reaper? I, I, I mean, all of these people that I know who want to keep on living, going through all of this hell to stay alive uh, in this shithole planet 
and all the fuck I want to do is fucking die, and, and, and I'm pretty healthy. I mean, the universe does have a sick fucking twisted sense of humor. I just don't get it. What is it about this, about this, that anybody in their right fucking mind, why would you want to continue this nightmare? You know, I've been I, I, I've been really haunted the last few days. Have you guys seen that? I mean, the you know articles about that a uh, seventeen-year-old girl, that beautiful seventeen-year-old girl. She's a cheerleader in, in in her high school, and she was just on America's Got Talent, and uh, I, I mean she's beautiful. She's uh, she's at least talented enough to make it to America's Got Talent. My guess is she's probably from a very, you know, a well-to-do family. She's a little white girl. Uh, I'm assuming she's blue-eyed and blonde. And uh, by, by any fucking measure, she is the picture of of health and vitality. She's got her whole fucking life ahead of her and what she did about four or five days ago. I'm a little unclear. I, I can't tell whether she was on a bridge, this was in California, and she jumped, you know, voluntarily, she jumped in front of a moving vehicle on some freeway in California, and the car hit her and knocked her over the bridge, or whether she jumped off the bridge or whatever. Uh, but but the bottom line is, is she fucking offed herself. Seventeen year old girl. Her entire life in front of her. Beautiful. Uh, I I I'm I am sure she was was popular. Uh, as I say, probably came from a, you know, a, a wealthy family. She had every single thing fucking going to her. And, uh, and, and like three weeks after she's on America's Got Talent, she, she, she looked at her fucking life. She evaluated her life and looked at her future and, uh, and, 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 and made the obvious choice. I, I, I salute the girl. You go, girl. Uh, I, I'm fucking jealous of you. You got more balls than I do. That, that, that girl has a hell of a lot more balls than I do. I'm too much of a fucking chicken shit to uh, jump off a fucking bridge. Uh, the way I go, I'd probably just end up paralyzing myself from the fucking neck down. And every single fucking thing I touch turns to shit. I mean, everything I touch turns to shit. And, uh, you know, waking up now and, and, just, and just looking at this beautiful little Shangri-La I have created here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And 
what, what is it, five summers busting my fucking ass up here. Five summers busting my fucking ass. What, what, what have I spent? Fifty thousand fucking dollars uh, sinking in to, the, to this goddamn place. And, and, and now uh, I, I walk out to it and it, ju it, it just mocks me. That, uh, I, that 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 uh, I, I've created this, and, and uh, for nothing, nothing. E e e you know that little fucking cunt <laughs> walking in here uh, with uh, <laughs> e e e e you know with what I have done. To create this place, and, and 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 she's telling me because I've got fucking dust uh, on the knife holder that she doesn't feel safe spending the night here, and uh, that just the the uh, the hilarious irony of that that someone could be that. Fucking clueless. I, 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 I mean, she that fucking cunt was probably the single most clueless fucking moron. I, I, I have a uh, good god. I, 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 I can't remember, but whatever that went down with that fucking little cunt. Uh, she just she just triggered something in me, and and of course she had the the chorus uh, of the 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 fucking uh, rodents, uh, and and the combination uh, that uh, everything I've done here has uh, has completely been for nothing. I, I am a fucking idiot. N n nope, nobody gives a flying fuck here. Uh, how many people uh, listening to this? What? So, what? what uh, Sandy, have you spent one night here this summer? I think Sandy has spent one night here. And Jeremy. And Jeremy and your girlfriend, uh, th this entire summer, uh, I have had one person, well, Jeremy and his girl, but two people drive 30 minutes to spend one night here and Sandy driving two hours to spend one night here uh, since I got here on, 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 on May 3rd. I, 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 I can't give this place away. Nobody gives a fuck, Hambone. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck, which is exactly the reason I, I, I'm going to be sitting here uh, on a Saturday night, tomorrow night, by myself, with my thumb up my ass on a spectacularly gorgeous uh, last night of summer. Uh, absolutely beautiful weather, moonrise, uh, no fucking plans. Uh, And I will be sitting here getting fucking drunk by myself with my little dog. And then I will wake up the next morning and will be officially an angry, bitter, depressed, lonely old man 
with broken teeth, stranded without love, in a converted tool shed behind a beat up old shack on the side of the fucking road in the middle of fucking nowhere talking to my imaginary friends uh, on, on fucking YouTube while uh, I, 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 I get fucking drunk uh, and descend into a suicidal black hole. The one thing I will say is, uh, you know, I did this, I took three fucking sleeping pills last night, and, and, and I uh, hit this damn bed, I had the single best night's sleep I have had last night that I have probably had in the year 2024. I hit that fucking pillow, guys, and uh, I, I went to sleep. And I did not wake up for 12 hours. I had 12 hours of, uh, of, of escape from this. 12 hours of unconscious bliss. But I woke up. Eleven o'clock this fucking morning, I woke up to this spectacularly gorgeous summer day and said, fuck, here comes another one. No, I didn't. Little dog, is that thing still going or not? Is that camera lens still? See, there's no fucking light on the front of this camera. Anyway, I guess that will be chapter two of Hambone's Death Spiral. The Chronicle of Hambone's Death Spiral. So tomorrow night we have Saturday night alone. On my last day as a middle-aged drunk. Stay tuned. Unless by some act of God I go to sleep tonight and don't fucking wake up tomorrow. What do you think of that little dog? Bye guys. All right, little dog, we made it 43 minutes. I wonder how long I've been talking to myself. I was like, Bob, you've been talking to yourself for too fucking long. Would you go to bed, you fucking drunk? Oh my God.